Hey guys, Tim here. Today we're just going to take a quick look at a problem I have at work every once in a while. So when you try to install a feature, I've seen this on both 2012 and 2016 server. It's much more prevalent on 2016 in my opinion. Sometimes you can't install it and it says you don't have the sources for it. Well, kind of crap. It's lying to you. I don't know why this error code actually comes up. What you can do is go check the installed um, Windows feature. So it's just git dash Windows feature and it'll tell you what you have installed on your system. So it's doing a, a collection of the data here and then it's going to display a big, huge, massive list. In this case, the thing I care about is .NET Framework Core, which is .NET 3.5. I have some stuff in automation that requires 3.5. So we're gonna scroll up a little and um, what you're going to see is most say in uh, installed available, it says removed. Well, I didn't remove it. Okay, so you're going to open regedit, regedit.exe from a command prompt, Windows R, whatever. We're going to go HKLM, HK local machine, software policies, Microsoft, Windows, and then Windows update. And what we're going to do is we're going to disable woo just while we're doing this. And I'm actually not sure um, why this fixes the problem, but it's some kind of like type mismatch. It's looking for a certain version of something with .NET 3.5 to be able to install .NET 3.5. And um, it's really weird, but this definitely works. So we're gonna net stop the Woo service, which is W-A-U-S-E-R-V. So net stop, and then we're gonna net start, and then we're gonna go back, and we're going to try the install command again. It's gotta be magic. Magic, I tell you. And there you have it. Exit code success. Now, you wanna make sure you go back in the registry, reset the value to one, and then stop and start the woo service again. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. This is really just, you know, kind of an obscure thing that I run into on a daily basis. Uh, one of those weird things where there are MSDN articles out there talking about this, but they're very kind of scattered. So hopefully this has been helpful and we're going to keep doing little tips and tricks like this every Tuesday. So hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, smash that thumbs down button. Make sure you hit that little subscribe bubble down there if you want to see more videos. And check out over there for some cool videos I've done before now. Or maybe after now. I guess it depends on when you watch this.